come on. Quit lying and tell us the truth. Gonta wasn't in control of his own character within the virtual world. Monokuma was. But since it was carried out by Gonta within the virtual world, Gonta is going to be the one that dies. truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. Because technically his body is the one that did it. And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Oh my god. Yeah. Not after insect meet and greet incident. Which is why he's the prime target. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gota doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. No. He's trying to sacrifice Gota to escape from his crime. <laughs> You're a terrible person! How dare you use Gonta like that? You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. Oh my god. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth. Cut that out. I told you it's not gonna work. Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? It doesn't matter if it's possible or not, because I say it's just impossible. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. Yeah. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? What? Um, going to not understand what's going on, but still, going to not kill Mew, going to really not know anything. That's what sucks. And also, going to not tell lies, and going to not make trouble for others. Gonta didn't do it mentally. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why Gonta not culprit. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. Then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course. No. <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew! There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit! Oh my god. Ooh, this could go two different ways. The, oh, the Kenny, the avatar setting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how Mew was killed. Mew got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. Mew would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me. You talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her. I Not him. No! No! No, 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 no! That's wrong! Actually, maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Why wasn't it possible? Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation, because it'd be game over if she touched me. What? 
Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck, then it would be impossible. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Like it doesn't matter, it's not Kokichi. There's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. No matter how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. No! Gonta not kill Mew! It's true! You've gotta believe Gonta! Gonta would never hurt anyone! I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonta would kill! He won't even kill bugs! I... believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lies. Ah. Uh, of course! Who'd believe a liar like him? No, it... He's lying about Gonta being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. I don't know about that. Yeah, this is... It got, it's it's Gonta's the culprit, but not in the... Oh, that's this. This is crazy. If we want the truth, we might have to ask some uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? Huh? I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you want to suspect, Gonta? Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I'm not trying to... Oh, the irony! It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survi- Shuichi, going to really not do it. Going to not culprit. Please, believe Gonta. We might as well discuss it. What? As a precautionary measure, that's all. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. Thank you, Kibo. You guys! Why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. He's just trying to split us up. Shuichi, open your eyes. Split decision. B but two for one truth special. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem pretty evenly split right now. So the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! So we're gonna do that again? Shuichi, why? Why don't you understand? You, you're my sidekick, aren't you? Kaito. Of course I want to believe Ganta. I don't want to think he killed someone. But as an ultimate detective, I can't run away from the truth. I need to find the truth.
Four on four. Shuichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Kibo! The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. I've got this. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. Kokichi, I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie. Kokichi is the one. I've got this. The truth is, Gonta could. Have I actually would have one shot this one if I actually. Gonta, oh not no, Mew. I wouldn't have. Honest, <laughs> <I got> this. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Juichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Juichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? I've got this. I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Kokichi, don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made it? Kibo. The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. I've got this. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was Kokichi. I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie. Kibo. That isn't possible, because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Gonta, no I've got this. The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. This is our answer. The fact that the full counter... This was the first time split decision was actually not evenly split, I think. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gonta is the culprit, we have to discuss it. That's ridiculous. You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? That's not it at all. I just want the truth. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. What? Gonta telling truth? Gonta really not culprit? I still don't think Gonta's lying. But didn't I tell you guys already? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth! L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments. Use head? What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't! But Gonta really not know. Uh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know! God, why are you so dumb?! Gonta just wanna help everyone, like true gentlemen! You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop. Hey! Now that's just bullying. Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Hmm? Stop what? You mean, stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care! We want to live, so stop getting in our way! Quit it. If you don't shut your mouth, 
Then I'll shut it for you, permanently. Maki, please, calm down. Sorry. It Gonta's fault. Everyone's so upset. But Gonta telling truth. Gonta really not culprit. Cause Gonta not know anything. Really. Cut it out already. That's all you've been saying this whole time. You're the one that needs to cut it out. Wait, what did Kokichi say? All you've been saying this whole time? That is true about Ganta. This whole time, Ganta has just been saying he doesn't know anything. Ganta not understand either. Mew like this when Ganta wake up. Ganta was sleeping too. Had strange dream. Ganta not understand anything. Gonta not know murder already happened when Gonta wake up. But why this happened? Why Mew killed? Gonta not understand. Gonta not understand anything. Cause Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. But when exactly did he start using that defense? That's it. Yeah. That's it. After he logged out. That means... Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta. That was... The this is error. it. Yep. When we logged into the virtual world, an avatar user error occurred. Some sort of you avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. An error. The con or contents of the error are unknown, so I cannot provide any details. But something strange definitely happened when someone logs log avatar. Or to someone's avatar when you all log logged in. An avatar user error? Ever since Gota logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? That's what I thought at first. But I think it's because of the error. W what you mean? If the error is affecting Gonta... And it's making him forgetful and loopy. Then what was the error? What could it have been? Oh my god. What? Memory. Oh, it's just a loss. Two S. I believe it's possible that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. That's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. 
What? That's ridiculous. Quit screwing around. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused. Gonzo told us he was bad with computers, remember? Oh, uh, mass panic. Memory or no memory. Gonta never hurt anyone. No That's way Gonta's the culprit. the culprit. Let's see if I actually remember to turn off the thingy. Gonta never you hurt anyone. Doesn't remember Gonta wants to keep everyone world. safe. You did it, but you don't remember never doing kill it, a right? friend. If there was a glitch, so it's just gentlemen, assume? gentlemen, protect friends. It should have affected all of us. Your lies aren't protecting anyone. But because we're but all okay, Gonta not lying. That means there was no glitch. I swear, ah. I believe Gonta. I heard it. Yeah, I definitely turned it off. I did. I, I actually turned off the the, the Saint Maki's thing. Okay, the perfect. That's more like it. Avatar. Is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world? Put the red consciousness cord into the right port and the blue memory cord into the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. I think that going to mess up something with the cords causing the error. If he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. Like an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world. What? Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Huh? How Gonta supposed to remember that? He, he couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Is Gonta left-handed? Oh, but Gonta holds chopsticks with this hand. Oh no! <laughs> Gonta's left-handed. No! Oh my! There, there it is. There it is. Uh, that's your left hand. <laughs> oh no! What? Oh, he mean, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's decided. What's decided? He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? No. G Gonta not remember. Gonta not even go to this virtual world place. What? Going to fall asleep when he put helmet on. When going to wake up, you dead. Going to not know what happened. So, going to worry. Going to not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. But going to try his best to understand. Going to imagine real hard. That's enough, going to. We already know. N know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Wait a minute! That lie! Going to not kill Mew! Cause why would going to do that? Yeah, it's a lie! I'll never accept this! And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew! I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? No. Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened! Then there's no incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on! That hasn't been decided yet! Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already! I care about the motive! Well, I don't care. 
Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Me? Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die, right? And you don't want that, do you? Okay, let's begin! Quit screwing around! I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit! Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. <sighs> so, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. Closing argument. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated off the suspect list is because... They couldn't access the crime scene. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Miu could pass through the wall. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list, and you know why, right? Because he was logged out. Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. Uh, Kokichi's completely running the show now. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now, so let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. But what's the reason for that? Because we have solid alibis. Tsumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? Yep. The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! No. Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? Yep. Because Kokichi was Mew's target. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. So then, it's down to one person. And who was that again? <laughs> well, who is it? Don't answer, Shuichi. You don't need to answer that. This is all Kokichi's trap. There's only one suspect, one person that could have done it. It's, it's Gonta. Sh Shuichi? Yep, Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder. 
But why? You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly! A truth without any lies! New Iruma's killer is Gonta Goku Hara! Really? Did Gonta really do it? Wait, is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything, so oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions to... You want proof? I've got your proof. <laughs> After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? Oh, Sh Shuichi and Smoogi. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No, Gonta not see him. Gonta. Kokichi said it himself. When Yu's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. Did I get... I, did I get got? It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Is that where Shuichi and Sunugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Then maybe he jumped off the roof. He would have been hurt. That's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Normally, Gota could have done it. But his avatar wasn't strong enough. How about that? Now you get it, right? If Gonta was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. What? Really? What? It would have been so nice if that was the truth. If Kaido were right, and this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. What? Just because Gonto was at the mansion, doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Shuichi got it. I'll leave the rest to him. Kaito, I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cruel that truth may be, we need to face it to survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? Kaito, please. It's not about sides, Kaido. Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito! Fine then! I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up! I can't doubt my detective work now. If I want us all to survive, I cannot back down. What? The argument's with Kaido! Oh, this is where we get it. Okay. Why are you listening to Gokichi? 
Welcome to my sidekick. Wake up, Juichi. Why won't you believe Gota? Why are you listening to Gokichi? To my sidekick. Wake up, Juichi. Damn it! Who do you want to believe? Remember what Gokichi has done to us. Remember how Gota's always tried to protect us. I'm just Gota, he's a culprit. I like how I'm locked in now. I realize what I'm getting. You say true this, true that, but there's a reason Gota's not the culprit. Who do you want to believe? Remember what Gokichi has done to us. Remember how Gota's always tried to protect us. I'm just Gota, he's a culprit. Still want to accuse him, huh? You say true this, true that, but there's a reason Gota's not the culprit. Who do you want to believe? Damn it! There's no way to leave a mansion from the rooftop. Oh shit. Who do you want to believe? Remember what Kokichi has done to us. Damn it! There's no way to leave a mansion from the rooftop. There we go. It's here. Hi, Kaido. Anyway, I walked in once I realized I was getting the Charlotte's Kaido. Like anyway, sorry. <laughs> Moving forward. That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. The toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know, because I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yes, the place where the toilet paper was tied down. There. The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. <clears throat> However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. And then used the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct, because I came up with that idea. Really? But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I guess he ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. Th that... it's... So... it's true. Going to really kill Mew. But the, the question still arises, what got Gonta to do that? But I'm the one who came up with the plan. Anyway... Just to make your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did it. But why did Gonta do such terrible thing? Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime first. Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Let's end this together. <laughs> okay. So what panels do we got? Um, 
So that's gonna be at the end. I read that. It's like, oh. This is the truth of the case! The case began last night. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged in to the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. So, we all plug those cords into our helmets and enter the virtual world. But the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. Because I... I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. But we had no idea this error even happened. And so, we all logged in one by one. Meanwhile, Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison. And placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yes, the reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. After we had all logged in, Mew explained the world to us. Use the salon phone to log out, objects are unbreakable, your avatars use all five senses, She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. The very person Mew was trying to kill, Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But Kokichi wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder.
Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. <clears throat> Kaito, Kokichi, Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. Splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. At the chapel, Mew told Maki that she was going to look around outside. She chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. This was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. That's why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Kokichi searched the salon. Kaito searched the roof. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Mew headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. Then, she spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time. The same roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. By having Kaito search the roof, and then forcing him to log out, she was making him look the most suspicious. But her plan didn't go smoothly. Kokichi was waiting on the roof with a culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. And used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle Mew. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. Mew's avatar was strangled to death, and the shock killed Mew in the real world. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. 
He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top along with the hammer and the cell phone. The culprit heaved the lattice over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. With a body on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. This is the truth you've forgotten, Gonta Kokuhara, the ultimate entomologist.